Testament that we are remembering this morning is from Paul's letter to the church in Corinth. Uh, this is the, uh, the love chapter of 1 Corinthians. And this has frequently been associated in our experience with romance. But Paul is not talking about romance. He is talking about the very foundations of community and what it is that enables communities to endure and to survive. The Corinthian church was fraught with divisions and conflicts as the church is now. And so I invite you to hear these words uh, from the Apostle Paul to us as a church now. If I speak in the tongues of mortals and of angels, but do not have love, I am a clanging gong or a, a noisy cymbal. If I have prophetic powers and understand all mysteries and all knowledge, and if I have all faith so as to remove mountains but do not have love, I am nothing. If I give all my possessions and if I hand over my body to be burned but do not have love, I have gained Nothing. Love is patient. Love is kind. It is not envious or boastful or arrogant or rude. It does not insist on its own way. It is not irritable or resentful. Love does not rejoice at wrong, but rejoices in the truth. Love bears all things, believes, all things, hopes, all things, endures, all things. Love never ends. Now, as for prophecy, it will come to an end. As for tongues, they will cease. As for knowledge, it will come to an end. For we know only in part, and we prophesy only in part. But when the complete comes, the partial will come to an end. When I was a child, I spoke like a child. I thought like a child. I reasoned like a child. But when I became an adult, I put aside childish ways. Now, we only see in a mirror, dimly. But then, face to face. Now I know in part. Then I will know fully, even as I am fully known now. So, faith, hope, love, abide, these three. And the greatest of these is love. Word of God.
for the people of God.